I hope you are having a wonderful day today. The topic for this video is how to date an awakened man. Lots of people out there are struggling with relationships, with finding love, finding the right guy. This message is for you. Women out there who are sometimes looking for answers and understanding about how a man functions. And especially in the spiritual community, in, you know, in the field of awakening, you might meet somebody who is really a cool guy you know you feel really attracted to and you feel that this man has something in him that is really awake and and wow that he's touching on on uh, the essence of his own life and uh, you don't want to mess it up you want to get it right right so here are a couple of hints um the first thing to understand is that a guy who is awake will usually have a mission there will be something in his life that is driving his existence, which comes from a place of truth, a place of honoring and serving the planet and humankind. And if you come in that man's life with an agenda which is too small, with, with a box or a, a set of beliefs about him, uh, projections that are too small for his life, um, he's probably going to feel constricted within the limits of, of that agenda. So what you have to understand is that if this man has a mission, right, and that mission is everything for him, which is what usually is the case, um, then you will have to choose how you are going to position yourself towards that mission and towards this larger purpose that he has. His deep identity is embodied in a way that completely brings the force of the planet, the force of humankind into his system and drives his, his energy. So these invisible forces are not going to uh, allow you to be in his field if you are an obstruction to that mission. It's very simple. Okay, so this is not even a, a romantic story. It's what is the role that you want to play in that man's life? You know, if I, if I try to understand a little bit how it worked in my own life, it is that for an extended period of time, you know, in, in my younger age, um, I was just leading a normal life, right? And then suddenly the, the awakening starts kicking in. And then suddenly what I realize is that I'm dedicating my, my life to the planet and humankind. And so the, when this mission comes into, into reality, once I start embodying this mission, and this was more than 20 years ago, uh, you know, then that becomes my life. And there is no possibility, there is no way I'm going to uh, make concessions on, on this, on what I'm supposed to be doing. And yes, sometimes you have to evolve, sometimes you have to bring in new qualities, you know, sometimes um, take into account, you know, the needs of other people, of, of course, but that mission stays really central. So when a woman comes into a man's life who is awake or who has a mission, then that woman needs to be in alignment with, with that mission. Otherwise, it's going to be an obstruction and a struggle all the time. And, um, you know, pretty much if you want to date a, a man who is awake, who is aware of, of that mission that he has in life, then most probably you will have to be to have some degree of awakening yourself as well because if you you know come from a place of contraction and um focus on your your own personal identity or your own egoic um agenda then of course this is going to create too much contraction and limit uh the flow and the expansion and the the resonance is usually not even going to happen so well, if you want to enter into a flow and into a resonance uh basically this is it you know it's like be spacious enough be vast enough to take into account that man's um yeah mission life larger perspective universal identity love you